three doors the devil uses to enter your home. The devil is a cunning adversary who seeks to gain access to our lives and lead us astray. The door of our thoughts. If we allow our minds to dwell on negative thoughts, such as doubt, fear, or anger, we are opening the door to his influence. The devil can use these negative thoughts to tempt us to sin and make us doubt God's love and goodness. The door of our words. If we speak negatively about others, or if we use our words to hurt or offend, we are giving him a foothold in our lives. The devil can use our words to create conflict and division, and to sow seeds of discord and mistrust. The door of our actions. The devil can also enter our homes through our actions. If we choose to sin, we are opening the door to his influence. The devil can use our sins to control us and to keep us separated from God. Once the devil has gained access to our homes, he can wreak havoc in our lives. He can cause us to doubt our faith, to make poor decisions, and to hurt ourselves and others. We must be vigilant and aware of the devil's tactics. We need to be aware of the thoughts, words, and actions that can open the door to his influence. When we are tempted to sin, we need to remember God's promises and refuse to give in to temptation. Prayer is a powerful weapon against the devil. When we pray for God's protection, we are asking for his strength and power to help us resist temptation and overcome.